the session and a brief about Dr. Jalpati Rao. Dr. Jalpati Rao has uh, served as the registrar of Acharya NG Ranga Agricultural University. He completed his BSc and MSc from Angrao itself and uh, did his PhD from IIT Kharagpur in 1990. Dr. Rao has to his credit many, uh, many scientific articles, technical reports and research articles in national and international journals and published a large number of messages to farmers regularly on da daily newspapers. Dr. Rao retired as the registrar of Angrao, Acharya NG Ranga Agricultural University. He would be speaking on the chemical residue in agricultural products today. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Respected uh, dignitaries on the dais and the participants on an uh, important subject of uh, subject related to agriculture as a whole. When this type of meeting was uh, planned, I was surprised uh, this meeting was proposed for IT professionals. Then in the beginning I inquired, it, is it for uh, just for awareness or is it for production activity? or is it for somebody to involve in marketing? And I was also a little bit doubt about, uh, since the IT professionals are involved, how the IT background or professionalism can be used for uh, creating awareness among the farmers and also as well the consumers. I was happy that all types of objectives are involved and Dr. Mohane also, uh, informing in this area. So this is a, a multi-dimensional, multi-useful today's session. So also is how to, thinking of how to adjust for agriculture now from chemical. Traditionally it was non-chemical. It was chemical plus organic. It went into chemical. Now we are thinking of uh, natural farming or no chemical farming. Now, at the transition definitely creates a lot of uh, doubts in the minds. When we are going in some way, can we revert back? Can we change? If we change, what will happen? Will it be successful? All types of uh, problems or issues will come in uh, while making a decision. I'm, I think, uh, Palekarji and uh, such type of uh, seminars probably the first culprit to be or uh, most of people feel will culprits will be the scientists or the extension officers or the knowledge people who, who have been were responsible in making chemical use as a main weapon for uh, to combat the, all the problems in agriculture but one thing it has to be made it clear as a scientist, I want to make it clear that never a scientist has told to use only the chemical. Scientists have been advocating to use all types of available natural resources and in the event of compulsion, use chemical prescribed to the level it is to be used. But unfortunately, India with the lot of uh, illiterate farmers, or the farmers in the nook and corners of villages, not able to get information. And coupled with uh, these all pesticides, chemicals are in the hands of private uh, sector. Private sector forced the farmers to abandon inorganics and go for chemicals for their business point. Not that all the companies are responsible, but the people they engaged, they employed in the lower level are the business traders probably only interested in business, not knowing the technical or scientific uh, use and abuse of these chemicals generally propagated. Okay, okay. I am I'm coming. So what are the chemicals have done the damage that what I say that? Chemical invention was not bad. Chemical used worldwide, worldwide it is there. 
but the problem that has come in in india is only because of improper way of uh, use and abuse when we realized that such type of farming is not going to be advantageous either for the producer or for the consumer or for the environment then we are now in a stage to think of how to go with agriculture using the natural resources so when the natural resources when we think of there are a lot of scopes probably at in the today's uh, many of these items will come into discussion naturally there are number of resources available either to supply nutrients or to protect uh, the pests and diseases from occurring on the crop plants but because they are forgotten are not sure of their making availability in the near future and slowly the animal we are dealing with the animals from the agriculture so therefore the natural resources availability or the our impression on their utility are just slowly diminished i said already couple the private sector dominating in entire uh, agriculture senior you have both research and extension in their hands at present including the seeds definitely paying lot of impact on the farmers particularly not only the law illiterate even the literate farmers educated everybody is now around uh, these type of uh, private induced uh, research and extension trading everything so the role of government slowly become ineffective or insufficient therefore now the problem how to revive the agriculture now one side the farmer is not happy with because agriculture is not a remunerative the other hand the consumer is also feeling that the cost of food is now increasing slowly or even the country is now importing certain of the food even at present it is true we have achieved a lot of uh, progress in food production but now we have to think of is it uh, at cost of what what did we lose is it only environment is it only on the health but more so on the farmers who are doing agriculture without any improvement in their lifestyle so all these issues many issues are involved but we are now with the two days probably we are only discussing possibility of agriculture ways and means of agriculture how to produce without using chemicals since already uh, i said agriculture is a very big subject we can debate and different subjects but this is the most important let us confine only for uh, using agriculture uh, natural resources in the production of crops and protection everything but second thing i would like to those who are producing the farm produce without using the chemicals almost free from toxicity or health hazardous food but what are they gaining they are putting lot of efforts because it's a transitional conversion period there will be number of difficulties facing all these difficulties some farmers are now resorted for all this type of non chemical agriculture but the government agency is not able to support them either way of research or way of extension or way of the most important one is marketing i have been receiving recently a lot of conversation discussion on whatsapp people's uh, interest how to sell where to sell this is again an important aspect to it's not only the government but also the society in general has to look at it making the farmers aware of this chemical farming though is traditionally known to indian farming but people now latest men youngsters coming into farming probably they have to be made aware how to produce but important linkage that i personally feel that how to link the production to the consumer if the consumer already in the economics says the demand increases production increases when the demand for organic materials no chemical food 
it increases probably production also producers will also increase in number and they will such means and ways of how to produce uh, food without chemical a, a doubt in the consumer is also will have seen that uh, how is the guarantee that the food they are getting is chemical free who is certifying it what is authority where it is available who is producing they are looking for a agency or agency I mean a transparent and clear cut agency apart from government from organizations or some somebody has to come forward or a group of farmers together in a society they have to come back and made a lot of awareness among the consumers even in other countries also you see a lot of somewhere it is an organic even most of the indians in foreign countries they say that even foreigners just they do look at it and forget it when we say the organic what is this organic who is certified this is simply the trader those men is for he just writing is that it is organic little bit disbelief so this we have to consider in a different platforms or even if possible a small session on this how to link the producer to the consumer by consumer linkage i am only stressing because consumer awareness consumer response must be there for organic materials or chemical free materials then only the production producers will come forward and produce definitely those now resorting back to purely chemical uh, non chemical farming purely natural farming initially they will face little bit difficulties in the present scenario of uh, less animals less labor and uh, in fact less time to stay in agriculture little bit other navigations or multi activities people generally it will be difficult but once we decided to i think it's possible probably in the two days uh, you will be giving information that yes definitely chemical without chemicals agriculture is possible it was possible now it can also be possible provided we pay a little bit more attention as some people i said no no chemical but in india compared to many other countries particularly europe and japan we are using less chemicals but using less chemicals doesn't mean that indian effect of the chemicals on indian food or population or environment is worse than many other countries europe and japan using high level of cotton but the effect on environment is because other careful measures are taken by the government and the people around that are those user but in india i said that a mixed population of uh, different uh, knowledge levels probably we are abused it let us totally not uh, decide that they are used with prop- not used properly they abused properly abused therefore definitely the effect of the chemicals was seen very early and it's better that we have detected it therefore now possible as a course of uh, scientist in uh, research and extension though we worked on fertilizer use response and so on so but at the same time a lot of work we have generated on how organics can play a role in the course of uh, 30 40 years even now the research programs a lot of uh, work is going on but only thing is that is always organic plus chemical was mixed in the university and uh, entire uh, public research so there are some organizations i think ekalavya foundation has come forward to establish a, a very big uh, purely organic uh, research institute a land purchased and they have started and that's a excellent uh, initiative and uh, we have been advising the government and uh, now will be again forcing on the government now in the government sector also there should be institutions purely working on the organics only to develop the technology create awareness and later on the subsequent uh, associated uh, activities like uh, marketing and uh, other uh, activity but since already it professionals living in uh, urban areas uh, i think the little bit more possibility for that lot of uh, vegetable production can be done at homes even if you do not have a uh, backyard for cultivation of things a lot of root tops roof tops for uh, production of even so instead of ornamental plants the same vegetables can also be a ornamental plant and can give 
and it is a satisfactory that we have produced without chemical in front of house and every time fresh vegetable is available. But I have seen, though we have been advising in the Hyderabad, not even 0.0.1% of the people now growing a vegetables in their uh, house uh, yards, so to say. But they grow a lot of ornamental plants, all the crotons, also all this type of uh, plants. But a lot of vegetables also can be uh, one of the idea for uh, so and so. As as a scientist, probably put a word to how the chemicals are now. I don't know Hyderabad or major cities where industries are developing. Uh, industrial waste or industrial pollution is went to such an extent that lot of heavy metals are found in the soil around the Musi and uh, adjoining and uh, till the Musi uh, extends to that. The fodder that is grown around the Musi and so and so and fed to cattle now going back into the milk and coming back in the form of heavy metals. The greatest danger for any human uh, health is uh, heavy metals. So therefore we must be very careful taking uh, and uh, selecting the food what we are eating, where it is coming from. If it is in a corner, nook and corner of the village, probably it is more safer than that is surrounding uh, Ranga Reddy. I think the vegetables now mostly grown in Ranga Reddy district in Hyderabad, not only the chemical pesticide residue on the vegetables, but the heavy metals, I think in our university laboratory, we have been testing it. A lot of concern we are showing that around uh, Musi and so on, so the vegetables are the fodder that we are growing is a totally heavy metal uh, loaded food material. It's a drastic effect. I think doctors are generally saying that it's a very drastic, even cobalt and heavy like materials, metals like going into our food and uh, health, a lot of problems. So now we have to look for a food free from toxicity levels or this may, uh, problematic food or health hazardous food and also how to use it, how to produce it and save the, uh, our population around that is uh, one point. Second point is that how we, not only after joining the, completing this two days uh, uh, interact session or knowledge uh, upgradation meeting, again it is better time we meet again and again, discuss on other aspects of how to take forward this. Those who are cultivating, I think Ram Bharati has already took initiative in this, therefore definitely will be t taking forward this also. Let us go to those who are producing as a scientist, still we want to work with the farmers after retirement also, there is a lot of I think some of the agri professionals also in the meeting today. So let us join together, farm a society like this, go to the villages where they are farming, natural farming or no, no chemical farming is done, associate with them, help them. Uh, and also, I said that that was form into society and uh, got awareness among the consumers in the form of various activities, uh, developing and uh, ultra modern methods of directly supply to the uh, supplying directly to the nowadays in Hyderabad, a lot of uh, community or gated communities or uh, big establishments living together. We can start with uh, supplying to them on a credit basis. I mean, uh, with the credit uh, credentials with us, and with the, some of the scientists joining, and also I said that when Swaraj uh, Palekar's group or something, probably uh, initially we can take to the material to the pupil and start uh, uh, not only producing but using it in a, a proper way, and in turn getting some benefits to the farmers. So with this uh, small introduction, this thing I will be. Uh, sharing with you some of the information later on in subsequent visits. Uh, in a, I said it will be collaborative type of uh, uh, farming that we are going to take together. Therefore, the people around Hyderabad to be more careful about this type of uh, poisonous uh, food. Therefore, let us work together even after this uh, awareness program and to take forward this uh, chemical free farming and uh, not only save the environment but also save the uh, lives of the people. I, I will be participating in this today's uh, program and uh, I said already even after that. Therefore, uh, I just to take uh, leave from you now and uh, I thank you for the organizers in giving a chance to 
just to present my view thank you